Reese, uh, mostly directed to you, but in, and Charlie can answer too. Uh, you've played a, a somewhat wide variety of characters uh, in various movies. Um, for this particular role uh, of Captain Hook, was there any particular 
inspiration you drew from for this role, or did you just kind of develop it, uh, you know, as a fresh character? No, well, I mean, what intrigued me was, you know, we all know the hook that we're presented with in the novel, and that hook is essentially back to the bone. And um, I wanted to kind of explore a journey, you know, what, how would a man become that bad? What would it take for a man to shed pretty much all his moral fiber? Um, when, and, and what happens to the mind when it's offered eternal life? Does it corrupt or does it illuminate? And in, um, in Hook's case, it corrupts, but it also liberates him from a very kind of stifled and repressed Edwardian England. Bonnie liberates him completely um, sexually, um, which wouldn't have been the case in Edwardian England, that men were scared of women and women were scared of men. Um, so it's, it's a kind of double-edged sword, you know, um, and it's an interesting question, you know, um, What's the price of liberty? Mm -hmm. you know? um, so that, that was all very kind of interesting. Right. And it, it's an interesting surrogate father uh, son relationship that you have. Yeah. With Peter, that that kind of pays the price for that. Yeah, and that, that kind of that kind of changes. You know, that that's the kind of moral dynamic, I guess, in the whole thing is, is our relationship. And, and as Charlie becomes, uh, as sorry, as Peter becomes. Better book becomes worse. You know, um, yes, I think it's very moving. That whole dynamic. Really is. Any questions? Hey guys, thanks so much for the time. Um, I got a question about the action because you know, there's a lot of fighting scenes and action scenes. How much training do you actually have to do for the fencing or the sword fighting? No chance. Wasn't it? Yeah. Huh? I'm just a natural. Yeah, you are a mighty fine dancer. No, we just, yeah, me and Anna have a lot of lunch breaks, just trying to beat each other's swords, which is fine. I mean, we did, we did like long sessions on wires and stuff. Yeah. Which is pretty, pretty exciting stuff. I mean, it's every boy's dream and, and every man's dream. Actually, you're still a bit of a boy. Thank you. Every boy's dream to fight, so who having a laugh, really? Um, it, it's strange, you know, we, 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 we did work quite intensely initially on the fighting, and, and we kind of just acquired a skill. So we had, and as, as the fights progressed in the film, we'd spend, because we were so, we'd become so adept early on, um, we spent kind of less and less time because we, we kind of took fighting direction better. Um, but also, you know, CGI helps. <laughs> <laughs> I think the whole shoot was pretty intense, but, but I think Nick, the director, just sort of made it a lot less and just a lot more, a, a very happy place really. I think we, with the pressure didn't really get to us because Nick was just there making us all feel good. He did a good job of it. Mm -hmm. yeah.